Ooh. French music hit different. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have been going through life without French music. Like, what? Hi cousins, it's Camera Come back to the channel. So in today's video, I've got a bunch of new makeup that I am dying to try out. I am like slowly but surely getting back into, you know, recording. I am so excited to film this video because I've got some good stuff. Some of it did get sent to me, but some of it I purchased myself with my own coins. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. Just get this out of the way. I love this. I may not be new to the market, but they're new to us. Well, to me. So therefore it's new. Okay. Okay. So kicking off this video, we're going to start with the Benefit Hydra Primer. I've never actually used this one. I've used the green bottle and not the blue one. So this is the hydrated one and I'm excited. You guys know that I am a sucker for a hydrating primer. So let's open her up i'm not gonna lie a part of me wanted it to like be clear or like you know look different but this would do i like hydrating primers because like it makes your skin not look dull it's not giving the white cast that the other green one would so so far so good and i like the way this feels oh okay but to be fair i am a sucker for hydrating primers because i like my skin to look you know plumped and just juicy i like that look on me especially during the winter season next we have the benefit professional super setter it's a long lasting makeup setting spray i do feel like this one just came out apparently it is waterproof smudge proof and fade proof as well apparently 93 percent people said it perfects their makeup look so we're going to see if this day if people are lying or not it does actually apply it after my makeup but i'm going to apply it before my makeup because i do that anyway the one this reminds me of it reminds me of the fancy beauty what i do miss that's the vibe i'm getting from it but um this is cute this is like fine mist so it feels like i'm not putting anything on my face this is alcohol free as well love that for us it is claiming to be an hydrating setting spray so next i'm gonna quickly go in and conceal my face i actually didn't pick up a new concealer so i'm using my nars natural radiance creamy concealer in the shade amand i'm just gonna quickly whisk through this part because you guys already see me use this so many times i have to get myself a new beauty blender because my beauty blender is busted af yeah. now watch this my beauty blender is so busted oh my gosh i just took that off blend this out why is my makeup looking like that? Why is that doing that? Hold on, why is the... Is the setting spray making it like separate? Okay, I won't lie. I feel like that setting spray is making, is making my concealer like, can you see that? Okay, maybe I should have put the setting spray on after. It's definitely the setting spray because the NARS concealer never does this. I'm gonna put on another concealer. I'm gonna use my Revolution Conceal and Defined concealer because it's a bit more runny. I'm using a dry sponge this time as well. Okay, makeup is saved, thank God. For that next is foundation i picked up two foundations i picked up the nars um what's this one called the nars soft matte complete foundation that everyone's been using lately and everyone's been like loving so i wanted to give it a try as well and i also picked up the huda beauty foundation stick as well um not a lot of people like this foundation so i think i'm gonna use this one so this is the nars soft matte complete foundation like i mentioned so it's a comfortable 16 hours wear full natural looking coverage true to color oxidization it's for normal combination on oily skin sorry to my dry babes <laughs> apparently it's not for you but, i don't really know if i picked the right shade because i did get this online so let's just hope that it's my shade it is looking quite red but i feel like if i blend it in a bit more into my skin it could work okay so i don't really hate it but I don't really know how to feel about it either. It looks all right. This is therefore a matte foundation. I do tend to like stay away from matte foundation just because they don't really make me look good. I don't know. I'm gonna go back in and conceal again. T 
to be honest with you guys a little part of me feels like the setting spray is causing something with my foundation normally i would know how to like finesse it and like work with shades but this one i'm finding it a little bit hard to do that i think because it's a matte foundation mm, i don't know how i feel next i'm going to go with this extra revolution brow gel setter it's really cute fix my brows up a little bit The only new contour product that I have is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Foundation. This is in the shade 495. I did do a review on this product on my channel if you haven't checked it out. Card will be up here. Check it out after this video. Just grab a little bit of this because the little goes a long way. And just use that to contour. This is honestly a new favour of ours and I am here for it it is absolute gorge we love this over here i won't lie my face is looking unblended and i'm not here for it i'm just gonna put it going and lightly set my highlighted areas real quick nothing special using the elf sheer tin finishing powder i don't think i have anything else new for skin so i'm just gonna quickly use the same products that i use I so need to get a new beauty blender. This is atrocious. Oh, I'm looking like a whole goddamn mess, okay? <laughs> okay, so I'm ready to do eyes. I'm in between two palettes to use. I don't really know which one to use. We've got the Yami Angelina Extrivious Place palette, and then we've got the For Me and Juvia's Place palette as well. And then we've got this Lottie London X Layla Loves palette oh my god these are all collabs this one's looking real real pretty and it's like calling my name that's what the for me one looks like these colors are absolutely stunning and these are just like bright colors that are speaking to me too they're all speaking to me i don't know what to do i'm gonna use this one um don't really know what i'm going for but we'll figure it out so i'm gonna start off with this shade this is really bright oh god Oh, she's bright. So next I'm gonna grab this shade right here. I'm just gonna tap that above my crease. This is a really nice transition shade. I'm just gonna mix the two shades together and just start blending out ever so slightly. Gonna cut the crease. Hmm. I won't lie, this looks absolute pants right now. I'm gonna grab this yellowy shade and I'm gonna pat that. Ooh. I'm gonna pat that right in the center. These shades are a little bit harder to work with than my previous shades, I can't lie. And then we're just gonna use the glittery gold shade for the inner corners. Okay, I won't lie, this look isn't the best look I've done. Oh, this look is so bad. I haven't out of practice. Oh my days. It's so bad. Oh, don't watch this video. Like, the palette is beautiful, but I'm just really crap with their makeup now. All my fingers are blended. I apologize that you are going through this video right now. I wouldn't mind if you click off because this is terrible guys i am just determined to finish this video because if i don't i won't record again so let me just finish up this video okay let me dust up this excess powders off my face this video is such a shambles i'm so sorry guys oh my gosh I don't think anything's capable of saving this look so let's just wrap up this video okay i am honestly so sorry that you guys are going through this right now if you made it this far oh my gosh i don't know why so we have come to the end of today's video i apologize because this makeup look is absolutely awful even like the white is getting onto my lid which is great <laughs> this video is a complete shambles and
I'm sorry. I didn't do any of the products justice. I don't even think I can do a verdict on any of the products because I honestly don't know what to say because I done a complete shambles of a video. So I'm gonna go order food and cry myself to sleep. <laughs> This is so bad. I have run out of lashes as well. I've ordered the new pairs, but they are taking forever to get to me. Yeah, sorry cousins. Please forgive me if you're new to my channel. I promise you guys, I do sometimes somewhat kind of do good looks sometimes. <laughs> Normally my eye looks are better than this. I'm just, you know, out of practice, okay? So I have nothing else to say. If you're new to my channel, you can kindly subscribe if you want. Bye cousins. <laughs>